Hello everyone, my name is Anish Rana and you are watching Kubernetes web series. Just for your information, this PowerPoint document can be downloaded from my GitHub page. Besides this, subtitle for different languages such as English, French, Russian and German is available for this video. Today we are going to cover one interesting topic that is what is YAML file. Before jump into that, if you want to contact me, you can contact between 9 to 3 p.m. IST time, Indian Standard Time on Saturday and Sunday and LinkedIn profile you can follow me on LinkedIn profile and github page you can download this website this PowerPoint document from my github page and you can also follow me in YouTube channel Anishana 2001 so YAML file so our agenda is History and name, structure of YAML file, what is key value pair, YAML array list, dictionary or map, rule for creating YAML file. So, history and name. YAML was first introduced by Clark Ivan in 2001, who designed it together with Igni.net and Oren Ben Kiki. Originally, YAML was said to meant yet another markup language because it was released in the era that saw a huge increasing of markup language for presentation and connectivity. For presentation and connectivity, okay. But it was then repurposed as YAML aren't markup language, is not a markup language. It's recursive acronym to distinguish its purpose as data oriented rather than document markup. So from this history, you now get to know that YAML file is used for data oriented, not for presentation and connectivity. So before the name, full name of YAML was yet another markup language, but now the YAML full, frame, full form is YAML int markup language. So according to YAML.org, YAML is a human friendly data serialization standard for all programming languages. So YAML common use cases as configuration file, log file, inter process messaging, cross language data sharing and complex data structure so we, here we can use the yaml so structure of yaml file so there are three building blocks of yaml file one is key value pair second is array or we can say that list dictionary or map so let's elaborate the first one key value pair so what is key value pair a key value pair is a simple data structure that consists of unique identifier, the key, and corresponding value of that identifier. The key can be any type of data, such as text, string, or integer, any type. The data can also be any type of data, including string, integer, float, boolean, list, or even other key value pairs. Okay, so there is no foundation what would be the key and value so key and value syntax is like name anishana age 24 occupation system admin food apple salary $1000.5 so yaml format would be name is key and value is anishana so as you can see here that there is two words between one white space right anish space rana age 24 so it's a digit occupation again system space admin fruit apple we can use single word or multiple as a words in a string salary dollar one thousand dot five so here in this example we can say that it's also accept the floating characters so each key is followed by colon and then the value so as you can notice here that both key and values are separated by colon here right what is array list 
in array list is a group of similar value with a single name an array is a group of similar value with single name what it's mean in yaml array represent a single key map to multiple values each value start with a hyphen symbol followed by space like this key 1 value 1 value 2 value 3 value 4 so when you see hyphen at the end at the beginning of the value it is array okay in yaml file how it look like curly braces double quote key 1 double quote and then colon and then bracket sign value 1 value 2 value 3 value 4 and bracket close and then curly braces so in yaml file it is right here or normal syntax is this here yeah. okay so why we are learning this yaml file because in kubernetes we are we will be going to use yaml file right to create the resources like pod services and deployment other thing so for that reason we must know why we are using yaml file right so as you can see here that annotation is same here right so key is starting by here and value is in one step ahead this is my key single value and multiple values are value 1 value 2 value 3 value 4 okay and annotation is same or we can use key 1 equal to value 1 value 2 value 3 value 4 like this or we can use key 1 and then same here okay and what is dictionary or maps so dictionary in normal banana have fat and then 0 0.5 gram carbs 32 gram calories 190 right this is a normal so one key having value and that value having another value so in banana it's having a value of fat and fat is 0 0.5 in previously we see banana fat carbs calories only so that is called array but when this value having another value then it's called dictionary or map so grapes is like this so we have two array and inside this array we have dictionary in yaml file how we can write here banana one single fat that's it this is the single grapes one single okay so we have only single quote and rest of the other thing it comes under this map if we add hyphen in front of these carbs and calories then it becomes array but here we are defining this as a map okay and annotations are same so this fat comes inside this banana so in banana and then we have two space and then hyphen same as for grapes and this grapes and banana are the same thing the last topic would be a rule for creating yaml file for kubernetes obviously right so the, the file should have dot yaml as an extension word the file starts with three dashes hyphen 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 these dashes indicate the start of new yaml document so multiple documents with single streams are separated by three hyphens so it means that we can add multiple yaml file inside one yaml file so one yaml file start with three dot and then again if we write three yaml dot three hyphens so it means that this is another yaml file so we can club multiple yaml file in single file comment must be separated from other token by white space yaml is case sensitive and indentation of white space is used for denote structure so indentation is very useful right so from the indentation we get to know that okay these 
values are in same indentation it means that they are in one structure i will explain you in my comment slide don't worry tabs are not included as a indentation for yaml files so we use white space as a indentation two white space or three white space we are taking as a indentation right not tab remember this thing so yaml file in yaml in kubernetes we have api version 1 v1 or v2 and then kind maybe pod so it is v1 kind deployment is v2 so it's a you know different type of api version for deployment and for pod the api version we use for pod is v1 so you don't need to remember this thing you or you can you know copy the yaml file directly from the kubernetes or maybe in office your developer will provide you the yaml file but yes you should know the values so that you can troubleshoot the issue and metadata and specs these are the four things that is mandatory in the yaml file for kubernetes v1 pod name is kashmir1 web app so here inside this metadata the name is we are defining so we are just defining the name of the pod here we are just defining the name this pod is name is this kashmir1 web app and label is app nginx data i will explain in my coming slide the meaning of labels here so we just concentrate on here that only for the yaml file and the last one is specs we generally add all the information inside this specs like container information name of the container what image this container will use and please don't get confused here two names the first name is pod name and the second name is a container name as i mentioned in my previous video that pod get ip address instead of container right so pod get the ip address not container get the ip address i also mentioned that one pod have multiple containers so here my second container kashma1 dot database we just need to understand the value in this yaml file we will always copy the yaml file from kubernetes.io website right so just think about that this name is my container name so we are just defining the name and the container name so and as you can notice here this hyphen is there so it's a different things right it's map so <clears throat> So this is the map here, and this is array in the YAML file. So yes, I hope now you get to know that you know what is YAML file, and slowly, slowly we will progress and we will build more complex YAML file in com my coming videos. But yes, we will copy all the YAML file from Kubernetes.io website. Thanks for the Kubernetes for this written information. thank you very much and if you have any question you may ask in the comment section i will try to reply you if you like this video and content please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new videos update thank you bye bye